it's me, Ann Faraby. Those tears. She was a sinner, but she knew where to find Jesus. She slipped in behind him as he reclined at the table to eat, and she began to wash his feet. A sinner washing the feet of Jesus aloud in his presence. She was overcome with emotion. Who would not be? Tears filled her eyes and fell onto the feet of Jesus. She continued washing his feet with those tears. He accepted her worship. The worship of a broken sinner who felt she had nothing to give. She then began to wipe his feet with the hairs of her head. She kissed them and anointed them with ointment that was in the alabaster box she had brought with her. She gave Jesus all she had, including her tears. Those tears can come for so many reasons. Tears of grief, tears of pain, tears of loss, tears of disappointment, tears of joy, tears of anguish, tears of emotion, tears of hardship, tears of exhaustion, tears when we pray, tears when we do not pray, tears of laughter, tears of loneliness, tears of depression, tears of love, tears of sorrow, tears of awe, tears of worship, tears of a sinner, tears of the redeemed. Does Jesus notice our tears? Yes. As the meal came to an end that night, one thing Jesus said was, see this woman? She washed my feet with her tears. That sounds like our tears are noticed. Psalm 56 verse 8 tells us that our tears are stored in a bottle. So maybe we can retrieve them in heaven and be allowed to wash the feet of Jesus. Right before God wipes the tears from our eyes because Revelation 21 tells us that there will be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying or pain, for these things will be passed away. I don't know about you, but that makes me want to cry. Happy tears, of course.